um, welcome to another episode. Um, today the problem that we are gonna see uh, was asked by Spotify uh, in their technical interview. So the question is something like this. Basically, you are a technical director of WSPT Radio and there are listeners worldwide, right? Now you need, and they are spread around, like you can think of them as they stay at a coordinate on a horizontal line uh, that stretches from zero to thousand so there are n listeners and m radio towers and they are given in the form of an array so we have a listeners array and the towers array now what we need to find is the value uh, the minimum range value so that all these listeners can use the tower that's nearest to them and listen to the music um, to better understand the problem let's look in the form of diagram so let me first create a horizontal line like this now we have zero here and let's say we have thousand cool uh, let me see in question what they have given let me note down the value here so we have listeners in l which is one eleven Five twenty. Then we have towers, which is like four eight fifty. Okay, we have got all the data. Now you see, uh, this listeners array is like jumbled in the sense it's not in a sorted form. Uh, uh, it wouldn't harm us if we could take the input and sort it so in sorting after sorting this array we'll get something like this it's just easy to you know visualize it so it's in the sorted form now towers array is already in sorted form so that's fine so let me draw um, listeners through using blue color so someone is at one right then five let's say I draw five here then eleven then twenty and then we have towers so let me draw the towers one is four then eight will come something like here and then fifty okay so now let's see what happens um, I'll use some other color let's say green now I'm a listener one so what's what's the nearest tower to me so obviously the nearest tower is the tower on the four coordinate four so the distance between these is three okay now for a listener five he has got two options he can use tower at four or tower at eight but what's the nearest tower because we don't want any latencies right so let's say he uses tower 4 so the distance between them is 1 now let's come to the listener 11 what's the nearest tower to it this has a dis 11 and 15 has a distance of 4 this is a distance of 3 so this is 3 now what about 15 uh, sorry sorry 20 my bad so the, for listener 20 he has only one option he can listen to using the tower 15 so this is 5 okay. now the question says what what is the minimum distance between tower and listener that we need so that all the listeners are able to hear music right so obviously if we take max of all this nearest distance which comes out to be 5 in our case so our answer final answer is 5 okay now this is what we have understood in the form of diagram now how do we solve it now we need to write a program right so let's try to think of come up with an algorithm um, let me write the list list array again so let's say I have 1 11 sorry right 5 yes it's in a sorted 11 20 these are the listeners here. Now what we can do, we can run a for loop 
right over this listeners and then for each listener we can run another for loop for on the tower array 4 8 15 and then for each listener we find the nearest tower and store and keep storing the max of it so basically if i have a max variable let's say i give it a value of a large number which could not exist in any of this calculation so we have a max value this now i'll keep on updating my max as max max answer max a max okay so this a max is max of a max um, no it should be okay my bad it should be zero yeah logically i should start with zero because from the calculation we will know the max right uh, so we need for for each reason we need the min first and then we update the max after the for loop is done so uh, this is how it will look i need to take a temporary variable which is aim in here right now i'll give this a large number now i'll update aim in is this for loop this is the bracket for this for loop this is the bracket for this for loop aim in is equal to min aim in comma uh, we have this tower let's say this is i this is j so we have i minus j we can take absolute of i minus j because 1 minus 4 will give us minus 3 we just need 3 right we need just need the distance so absolute of i minus j and we store it in a min now we complete the for loop now outside this for loop so so what this inner for loop is doing is for each listener one it does it calculates the distance of all the other towers like for one uh, distance from tower 4 is 3 from tower 8 is 7 and from tower 15 is 14 so a min will save the nearest tower which is 3 so a min will save 3 now here we need to keep track of the max of all the minimum distance of the listeners right like we saw so this inner for loop will give 3 for listener 1 um, 1 for listener 5 3 for listener 11 and 5 for listener 20 so we need this 5 because at the end of the day that's the minimum range that that is going to cover all the listeners so that all the towers cover all the listeners right so this is going to be yeah. cool so what is the time complexity of this problem of this whole it's basically o of i'm running a for loop for size of l into inner loop of size of t so this is my overall time context can we improve for sure so what's the key here we see that we already have the arrays in the sorted form and when anything is insorted the the basic uh, idea that we get is can we try binary search so let's look at that approach as well let me copy uh, the arrays here again okay so obviously we'll have to run a for loop on 1 comma 5 comma 11 comma 20 and this is our variable i we can keep our a max as um, 0 
okay start a for loop we keep another value a value now here what we are going to do for each listener we are going to try to run binary search on this LAT so basically you can think I have a method called binary search I call it on my LAT comma I I is my value which is one so how would it work so basically we can write our own binary search this method would look something like this let's say I have four eight fifty right so so we need two values from it one one is the the just the next smallest element to i and the next highest element to i so for i equal to one what would be my next smallest value it doesn't have any right so we can just ignore that case because in this case one sh should come here somewhere before but what is the next highest element for one it's four so we are gonna get two values here one is none because there is no value less than one and then another is four so we are not going to consider none but we are going to consider four and we are going to do one minus four absolute is equal to which is three so a value will get three and then our a max would look something like okay so this is our so this is this is this is this is what we are trying to do here is that we are trying to reduce the time complexity by using by making use of this sorted logic now let's say for the case 11 right for case 11 what is the just smallest next small nearest smallest element to 11 it's 8 and what's the next highest element to 11 it is 50 so now we are gonna do apps of 8 minus 11 and absolute of 15 minus 11 and we are gonna take min out of them so this will give us 3 because 8 minus 11 3 and 11 minus 15 is 4 so we are gonna consider 3 because we need the nearest tower because the listener is obviously going to use the nearest tower to decrease the latency right so this is how we are going to use binary search now uh, I'm not going to go in detail about how to write binary search for this but I'll be posting the code in the description of the video so that you guys can you know uh, look at it uh, what would be the time complexity of this obviously time complexity would be because we are running one for loop on L it would be L cross now we are doing binary search so binary search is always log of n so in our case it will be log of t so you see previously we had time complexity of o of l into t but with using binary search we improve the time complexity into l log of t so that's that's about this to today's problem um, hope you guys like like this video uh, if you do please like share and subscribe um, stay tuned. Thank you guys.